What's up guys, it's Wicked from Wicked's Gaming and More, and here we are with another low carb recipe. Let's go over what we're going to do with these. My sister has sent me a video she's seen on Instagram, and it requires Italian sausage, I guess you can do mild or hot, string cheese, cheese sticks as known, I think the lady used shredded parmesan cheese and then this stuff here i've seen in the video she used johnsonville sausages so hopefully grab values good but this stuff here is like 650 a jar and i don't really recommend using it because i didn't i seen the price i seen it in the video and i was like oh okay let's try this and yeah if i'm doubling this which i am and you know, two packs here two of those i'm like this stuff's a little expensive but um I'll pull up the video here in a second and show you guys exactly what the lady did. She literally cut these, stuffed these, poured this all over it, and then I guess it looks like Parmesan cheese that she put on the video. So let me pull the video up for you real quick and then we're going to get to cooking. Alright, so here's the end of the video. Here it is. She takes sausages, cuts them open, stuff the cheese stick in there. Puts them in a pan, pours the sauce, sprinkles Parmesan, sticks it in the oven for, I don't know how long, I'm going to say 350 for about an hour. Takes it out, serves her husband or boyfriend, and he cuts it, and he's like, oh, wow, look at the cheese. So, let's get to cooking, and hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to play the music that's on here, just because YouTube likes to copyright everything. Let's get to cooking. Alright, so let's get the stuff in these sausages. So you're going to take them, as you've seen in the video, cut the casing right on down the line. I guess you gotta work meat around the cheese stick or something. It looks like. <clears throat> Lay it in the pan here. Let's get another one here real quick. I still feel a little cold. Put the casing again. Shred it up. Stick in, then kind of mold it again. Like I said, I'm not following any type of directions, I'm just doing what the lady did on the video. My sister's already made them, she said they were amazing. So, hopefully, I can get the same effect. <laughs> All right, so I guess I got the one look flat. Just stick it in there, I'm gonna get the rest of these done, and I bet. Now that we have the sausages stuffed, we're going to take this marinade or whatever this, yeah, spicy marinade. Ooh, spicy. Anyway, I want to pop this open. Kind of smells like Chef Boyardee stuff. I'm just going to pour it over. The sausages. Use every little drip for this stuff because it's six dollars. <laughs> Second jar. And I sprayed the pan with some um, extra olive, extra virgin olive oil, just so it wouldn't stick. Hopefully, they don't stick. <clears throat> Let's get the Parmesan cheese and stick on there now. Already 
shredded Parmesan cheese. I got this in the cold section. You got to keep it refrigerated. Let's just top it off with that. Should have preheated the oven before the start of this, but yeah, I'm gonna preheat it here in a minute, and it's gonna take a few. <laughs> So I already got it in the oven and I set it's at 350 since it's gas, it's a little over 350. Um and I got a timer set for 45 minutes, so let's see what happens. Alright, I just want to say I think I might have did it over with the sauce. As you can see, it has like left crusty stuff all over it. I don't think I was supposed to put that much sauce on them. But Anyway, hopefully they still turn out good. They're still really hot. I'm going to let it cool down and get me one out and we're going to get into it and try it. Let's cut into this bad boy here and see how this cheese actually did. Oh yeah. You can see that cheese right there oozing out. Mm. I'll give it a try here in a second. Let it cool down a little bit more. Hey guys. Well, since the sausage has finally cooled down, I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of it. But before I do, I want to pray. And um, hopefully this doesn't it agree with my stomach. Because it smells spicy. This sauce I've never had. So let's try it out. And by the way, I've been losing weight here for the past couple months. Trying to get in, trying to get myself back and my diabetes under control because I was diagnosed. Um, but anyway, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this glorious day. Thank you for me. Thank you for giving me the available the ability to make YouTube videos and hopefully these videos I pray help you know people with diabetes and high blood sugars and stuff because I know making this stuff it helps me and dear Heavenly Father just thank you bless this food make it be a nourishment to my body in Jesus name I pray amen let's try it see what it tastes like it looks good but does it taste good It is not bad. Not bad at all. The sauce does have a little bit of a punch to it. I can feel it in my stomach now going <laughs> The sauce has a little bit of a punch. The cheese kind of, you know, helps cool that down. Um, It's almost like eating pizza. Careful with the sodium in this stuff because if you have 
high blood pressure and stuff like that and you're watching sodium I mean you know these things are loaded but mm, 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 mm. I might eat three of these. <laughs> this is the last bite of the first one. Boom. Gone. Mm. Scrape up this extra cheese here. Man. If y'all try these, please tell me how we, how you like them in the comments and stuff and if you have any suggestions for any other type of food you'd want me to try to make low carb like say for instance if you like I mean I've did low carb pizza I've did low carb well I need to remake a low carb um, lasagna video because I did a low carb one but it was with um it was cheese noodles and then I think I made a um uh, what is it an eggplant lasagna that one was all right. But yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions with foods and stuff that are low carb, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.